David Bertensini, Bert Auto Expert, coming at you with another high mileage review coming up next. So we got a 1998 Toyota 4Runner, limited, four wheel drive. It's got a little lift on it, which is not factory, but this has 240,000 miles. It has literally been driven to the moon. So pretty good looking on the exterior of the vehicle. This color is called Anthracite Metallic. Uh, sun down here in Florida gave a little bit of a beating. Uh, as I'll say, he's got a little bit of a little bit of some paint fade uh, happening along here. Uh, we just got done detailing the vehicle to try to bring it back to life, but this is the afterlife of what we did with the vehicle. So not a bad looking, not too bad of a machine. Uh, the paint's come back to life. But I'm going to show you a couple things on this vehicle that you got to be cautious. Importantly, what you got to watch out for is right down here on this guy as you can see we've got a leaky uh, transfer case actually front differential transfer case here um, being 21 years old and 240,000 miles it's expected um, you know so these things happen I wish they were really really long-term tight but 240,000 miles and that's the first time that's the first time it had to be replaced I guess not so bad so anyhow so here's, as I said, issue number two is gonna be our rear main seal on the vehicle is also leaking. You can see just across this bar here that you can see a lot of oil residual dripping off the vehicle. So on uh, just a couple things to watch out for here on this vehicle. So uh, that was issue number one. Just got some uh, different differential leaks, um, rear main seal leaks. Uh, you know, just, just a lot of leaks happening on this vehicle, which we typically don't see with a Japanese built Toyota 4Runner. Our rear differential back here, a little bit, I mean, this is actually pretty dry compared to the front, but, um, you know, being a Florida vehicle down here, not seeing a whole lot of, uh, whole lot of corrosion or anything, but anyhow, let's show you how the interior held up. All right, so 240,000 miles on the vehicle. Did have some, uh, some seats. Leather seats, they did crack, but I mean, you got 240,000 miles of wear on it. That center console, unfortunately, the elbow, that right elbow just wore it out. But good news overall, I mean, all of our handles are still here. Um, AC controls, window controls, um, your um, wiper controls. This vent right here fell apart. I know the clock's not working properly. It's probably a fuse or something like that, but other than that, for the most part, you know, all of our interior components have held up pretty well. Um, the visors, shockingly, did not get limp visor disease. So, I mean, overall, the vehicle's looking pretty good. Our sunroof on this vehicle, unfortunately, is inoperational. But the good news, it's not leaking because we, uh, we would show signs of a lot of leakage. But no leakage happening here. But, you know, overall, it's held up fairly well. Um, this vehicle was not maintained as good as we hoped for it to have been, but hey, it is uh, it is what it is. But overall, in the majority of our controls are still here. Our glove box, center console, you know, as I said, majority of uh, everything is pretty much here. Uh, our fuel door operational like it should be. Hood pops like it should, but... You know, for the most part, I mean, it's it's the interior is held together pretty well. So what's important to me is handles and switches, controls, knobs. I mean, pretty much everything, as you see, is there. We'll take a look at the rear hatch. This handle is still hold on tight. A little squeaky on that. This is just uh, some mats and crossbars and everything. But, you know, looking at uh, everything in here, everything is pretty tight. You know, headrest, or excuse me, uh, headliners in there good. So, you know, what I'm looking for is, is stuff that's just like cracked and falling apart and just, you know, from loading stuff in and out, there's no damage or anything like that to, to that bulkhead or this bulkhead. So, you know, I mean, it's overall in fair to pretty good condition. So, I mean, I've seen better, but in fair to good condition. Item number two to watch out for on the vehicle of this age was actually, I would have said the, the sunroof, um, 
tend to, they tend to fail over some time. Um, the seat controls over here on this side, you can see they're they're actually missing. Um, popular, it just happens with these with these older vehicles uh, on some of the Toyotas, but. Uh, for the most part, that'd be item number two. Item number three to watch out for. And I'll show you miles in this vehicle: two hundred and forty thousand eight eight eight. So I just want to show you the only issue that this vehicle had, engine-wise. I mean, starts right up, which is good. Uh, AC still blowing, ice cold. I am in Florida, so that is important. But that ABS light on does have an ABS control module issue. Um, you know, that's major item number three or issue number three that I found with this vehicle that tends to go wrong, kind of fails with them. So if you're shopping for high mileage, you know, don't be afraid. Just watch out for these items, oil leaks, interior cracks, and ABS lights are a couple things to be cautious for. Fuse went out there on that guy, but you know, for the most part, I mean, you know, we got windows operating properly um, as they should be, you know. All the power window controls. Uh, let me turn down this fan a little bit so it's not rumbling through my audio, my video. But you know, for the most part, everything's working right. I mean, our mirrors on the outside of there are moving like they should be, up, down, left, right. So I mean, it's good. It's in good condition. To me, it's not in immaculate, excellent condition. I like vehicles pretty much in a wrapper. Um, but I mean, as you see, it's idling just perfect. Everything on this is cool. No smoke when it starts up. Uh, as I say, like, it's got some leaks, but other than that, she's good. And to recap, three things to watch out for. Number one on the exterior underneath is the undercarriage. You know, watch out for the transfer case. Watch out for uh, the rear main seal and also watch out for uh, oil leaks on your uh, differentials. Uh, second thing to look out for on the vehicle is a couple of the switches on the interior uh, seat control switches, leather cracking, you know, interior items like that. Mechanically, watch out for, watch out for the ABS light. Um, if that is on, there is some issues you may have there. And uh, if you can live with the issues, just a couple, you know, ABS fluctuation, you can live with that, move forward, roll with it. So hopefully you guys like my content. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Adios.